Hi everyone. Today we're going to read Where the Wild Things Are. These sto this story and pictures are by Maurice Sednak. They have some silly monsters in this book. This boy's name is Max. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That night in Max's room, a forest grew. Oh, wow. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And the ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through the night and the day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared with their terrible roars and they gnashed with their terrible teeth and rolled with their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Yikes. Till Max said, be still and tamed them with his magic trick. His trick was of staring into all of their yellow eyes without blinking at once. And they were frightened and they called him the most wild thing of all. And they made him king of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. There's the wild rumpus. They're pounding the ground everywhere. And now they're swinging from the trees. Woo! And now they're marching with King Max on his back. Now stop, said Max, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being a king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and smiled back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot.
That's a fun story with Max and the wild things. See you soon!